नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल की बिड एजुकेशन सर्विसेज वी आर सॉल्विंग द एसर एप्टेड टेस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू फिजिक्स एम सी क्यूज एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी अवर लास्ट वीडियो इन दैट सीरीज बिकॉज वी आर सॉल्व ऑल फोर्टीन क्वेश्चन नाउ एंड दिस इज फॉर दिस वन इज द लास्ट वन रिमेन बिफोर आई सॉल्व दिस एम सी क्यू वॉन्ट टू टेल यू दैट ऑन अवर चैनल आई हैव अपलोडेड मैथमेटिक्स and physics previous years questions detailed solutions like this one the video links the playlist links both the subject wise and the year wise links can be found in the video description of not only this video but of all videos so i will recommend you to watch all of them and share uh, share them with your friends for better performance and let me also tell you that many students have been benefited from my solutions right from the day when i started uploading the solutions many students have gone to iisers and i have also uploaded videos of my past students and their experience with qubit so you can also watch those videos for more encouragement okay so with that we'll start with our last mcq two spherical conductors a and b of radii a and 2a contain negative q and 2q charges respectively they come in contact with each other due to electrostatic attraction obviously because one of them is negative and the other one is positive be charged and eventually move apart what will be the ratio of the final charges on uh, a and b okay and we have options 1 upon 4 1 upon 2 1 and 1 upon 8 to begin with to begin with note that the radius of sphere a is half of radius of sphere b okay so let's just write it down here radius of a is small a radius of b is 2a okay initial charges what are the initial charges initial charges are negative q on a and 2q on b okay 2q on b now when these uh, conductors when these conductors they come in contact with each other okay this so they're saying this they come in contact so there is physical contact between them come in contact so when they come in contact when they come in contact with each other what will be the which quantity will become equal for both of them it's the potential okay so when they come in contact va will be equal to vb correct <coughs> fine so va is equal to vb and we have also noted down the initial charges now what now <coughs> let us uh, keep this aside for a moment and recall the formula that we have seen in capacitance okay we have plain parallel plate capacitors we have cylindrical capacitors and we also have spherical capacitors okay so let us uh, write down the formula for capacitance of a spherical capacitor okay so we know that spherical capacitor is made up of two concentric shells so suppose the radii are r in and r out okay of the spheres what is the capacitance c 4 pi epsilon not okay r in r in into r out upon r out minus r you can derive this formula okay this is a formula for spherical capacitor okay now suppose we wish to treat the conductor a itself as a spherical capacitor we have to imagine that its shell or the radius of its shell is infinite which shell the outer shell okay so if r out tends to infinity then what will be the expression for c first of all first of all let us divide the numerator and denominator by r out so it's a limit problem now suddenly okay so if we divide the numerator and denominator by r out then we will get r in in the numerator and 1 minus r in upon r out and now we can substitute or find this lim find the limit of this as r out tends to infinity so the capacitance will be 4 pi epsilon not r in upon 1 minus 0 or just r okay <coughs> so treating the two conductors 
okay that treating the two conductors as capacitors we can say that the capacity or capacitance of a is 4 pi epsilon naught a and capacitance of b will be 4 pi epsilon naught 2a okay 4 pi epsilon naught 2a so basically we, we can say that the capacitance is directly proportional to the radius twice the radius twice the capacitance okay c is proportional to radius now we also know this what do we know by definition c is equal to q by v correct by definition c is equal to q by v now we have said that when they come in contact with each other okay we have said that when they come in contact with each other v a becomes equal to v b correct okay v a is equal to v b okay so first of all what i'll, I'll do is I will uh, write it down here okay so note that <coughs> C A upon C B okay it will be equal to A upon <coughs> 2 A okay so we are just uh, carrying this uh, piece of information forward C A upon C B will be A by 2 so this will be half but what is C A C A is Q A divided by V A and what is uh, uh, CB it is QB upon VB so that will also be equal to 1 upon 2 but VA and VB are same because they came in contact right as VA is equal to VB during contact during contact QA upon QB will be equal to half okay qa upon qb will be equal to half you can calculate the net charge later because there will only be one unknown here the other one will be obtained because the charge is always conserved okay so what will be the ratio of the final charges on a and b so qa upon qb is what we want qa upon qb and that ratio is 1 upon 2 that ratio is 1 upon 2 so the correct option is half as an exercise as an exercise you can determine the final charge on a in terms of capital q and the final charge on B in terms of uh, again well capital Q okay fine so question 60 answer is half that my friends completes our discussion on SRF test 2022